Today on Knife Banner, we are gonna be uncovering your deepest, darkest secrets. Let's talk knives. Cowabunga! How's it going guys? Welcome to Knife Banner and today we are diving into your wish lists on the website. So we put a call out on Instagram and we said, hey, give us your wish list information. We'll throw some of the knives on the table and uh, talk about them. So this is an exciting Knife Banner to kind of get a, an insight into your hearts and minds about knives. Now, we also got kind of a new face. Good George on. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, man. <laughs> and uh, you guys might recognize George from the sales and grails section in a couple Knife Banners and you know, he did such a good job. We're like, gotta get this guy on to talk knives. So. Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, we are going to start with a knife that is on Jackson Brooks's wish list, and this is the Jesse James Nomad. Now, to me, this personifies a wish list knife, right? Like, it's, it's a knife that uh, you may not normally buy, right? It's a knife that's a little bit of a novelty knife, um, but it's like a lot of fun. Yeah, I was I was watching you open that thing. It's yeah, you guys got to see this. You got to wrap your head around that. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a thing. So um, swings open, then back, and then boom. And I've actually seen guys get pretty fluid with it, where they can do it one-handed. Mm -hmm. Not going to do it on camera because you guys know the rule on knife banner. If I cut myself, we keep rolling. <laughs> I don't want to bleed on the, all these other knives. Um, but this is actually a really neat knife, full titanium construction. Um, it's made by Jesse James Knife Company in the United States, and it's actually based on a knife that Jesse James got when he was a kid back in the '80s. It was like some sort of Smith and Wesson yeah, folder like, or something. I, I could totally imagine pulling this out to slice an apple in an ABBA concert or something. <laughs> yeah, there you go, right? <laughs> an ABBA concert, I like it. Um, so anyways, uh, this is from Jackson Brooks. Thanks for uh, throwing out there for bud. And it is the Jesse James Nomad. Yep. Over here we got the Fox Knives Suru. And if you follow the knife world, you, you've probably heard about the Suru. I think they it's a It's an EDC classic these days. It won Best of Show at 2018. It's designed by Jesper Voxnez, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, yeah. M390, carbon fiber. And it's a carbon fiber frame lock. You don't see those very often. That just, that's something else. Yeah, well, and the interesting thing is, is it comes with a titanium body, right? You can get a titanium version, but everybody was really stoked on the carbon fiber. So they're there. We have them. Um, and who, whose wish list was this on? This is on a guy named Dan Miles. Dan Miles. Thanks, buddy, for uh, throwing that suggestion out for us. Yeah, this is a sweet knife. Sweet, sweet knife. And what's it going for? It's going for $269.25. $269. I think that the, check the website for current pricing, but I think that the titanium versions go for in the 160 ish range. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, so, Somewhere right Somewhere there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so next up, we've got a knife from Sean Hughes. Now this knife actually made it on because a lot of you guys have this knife on your wish list. This is the Spyderco Shaman. Uh, it goes for about 187 bucks on the website. S30D blade, G10 handles. It's got that sweet compression lock on the back and then a uh, four-way reversible pocket clip. Now, I was surprised to see this knife on a lot of wish lists. Um, it's a great knife, I love this knife. Uh, I've got one, I made some micarta scales for it. If you guys haven't seen the video, check it out. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I feel like this is a knife that a lot of guys just buy or don't buy. I didn't realize that a lot of you guys were kind of lusting after it, right? Keeping it, yeah. keeping it on the back burner. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Like Nick Shabazz talks about his a lot. He, like, I mean, I agree with him. It's got great ergonomics, a nice broad blade. It's, it's a tough knife. It can take whatever you give it. Yeah. It's one of the few knives of this size that I really, really like. Um, knives of this size tend to get bulky or heavy or just not my jam, but this knife is just the right size uh, for being as big as it is. Plus so. it looks good. Yeah, it's a cool looking knife. I like the way this <laughs> knife looks. So I, I guess I do understand why it's on the wish list. It's a yeah. good one. It, honestly, if I didn't have one, it would probably be on my list of, of what I would want. <laughs> no, right it's now. on my list. So. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so Sean Hughes, thank you so much for throwing that up. And again, that's the Spyderco Shaman 187 on the website. Yep. And over here we've got the Sog Pillar. Sog Pillar is a fixed blade, but this one's actually a limited edition with the OD green micarta scales and the bronze Cerakote on the blade. Super cool. Yeah, this is more of a tactical knife. You, you, I mean, it'll process proteins if you catch my drift. <laughs> Um, it's got a sweet strike pommel, and it's got a nice choil that you can choke up on if you want to use it as more utility thing or carve feather sticks. Like, this is just an awesome fixed blade, survival, tactical, do-everything knife. 
from Caleb Span. Is that how you say that? Span? Yeah, probably sounds about right. Sure. Works, works Sorry if we me. we we uh, messed up your name there, Caleb. <laughs> yeah. And then but what's that going for on the website right now? Two thirty nine on this one, but the regular cool. one's about one eighty. What about one eighty? Yeah. yeah. This is because the special edition. Yeah. Um. Usually comes with S thirty five VN. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a great knife. It's a cool knife. It's a really cool knife, but. This knife actually brings up an interesting point that I wanted to touch on today on Knife Banner. Mm -hmm. So, this knife is called the Pillar, P-I-L-L-A-R. I say the CRKT knife, Pilar, P-I-L-A-R. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of guys give me gruff for the Pilar. Guys, Isn't that how Jesper himself said it? It's named after <laughs> Ernest Hemingway's boat, which was pronounced Pilar. So, <laughs> this is the Pillar. Incredible knife, and then there's the Pilar, also an incredible knife, but it is pronounced that way. <laughs> but yeah, super great knife from SOG, and this is made in USA too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a win-win all the way around. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, so next up, uh, actually guys, next up, we're going to pause for just a second, because these next knives, me and George actually used to go have some fun with. <laughs> yeah. So let's check in to see what we got going, and then uh, we'll talk about these next ones. All right, guys, we are having a paper cutting contest. We're gonna see how many cuts we can get in 60 seconds. I am using the Giant Mouse Clyde. What do you got, George? I got the Wee Nar. Whew, that's right. So we strop these babies up. We're ready to go. Jackie, ready? Ready. George, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. George, I was feeling really confident at the beginning of this. I'm not so much anymore. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> You can't me, get past the lie. <laughs> you're telling me that you don't sit around and just cut paper all day with your knife? Um, Dude, it sounds like you were just winning a lot over there. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Put your knives down. Put Dang knives it. Down. <laughs> that one doesn't count, that last one. That was just a tear. <laughs> Yeah, okay, oh, ho absolutely horribly. <laughs> no better than him. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, jeez. I only got nine. Are they all legal? Oh, what? Well, I got ten. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dude, I was positive that I was going to lose. Yeah, I, th I, I thought I had it in the bag. Like, that knife has some great edge, like, we're rematching. We'll yeah, we gotta this. rematch, rematch, we'll rematch in the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, now it is time to talk with one of our product gurus. It's time for Sales and Grails. All right, guys, so normally, George would come on and show us some Sales and Grails, but George is already here. So we got Tyson, uh, our amazing product guru, to come on, and he's going to tell us some rad sales and grills we got going on at Blade HQ right now. What's up, guys? Hey, Tyson. Hey. Uncle Shaky's back. <laughs> Uncle he's Shaky. looking at the right camera. <laughs> Ready? Love it. There we go. <laughs> got a Seabert custom pocket rocket. Oof. Very cool. Very, very good attention to detail. Inlays are all very flush and rounded. Very impressive. Beautiful piece. What's it Pretty spendy. I think 2700 something. So Ooh. it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah. for your sales, we've got the uh, CQC6 from Kershaw. Yeah, it's not that. And uh, we got these on sale for $24.99, which is a great deal for, you know, like a pretty decent pocket knife, especially with an Emerson Wave. Um, that's what we got for our sales and grails. That's sweet, man. Kershaw Emerson, $24.99. And then what was this one again? $2,700 something -ish. What was the name on it again? Uh, the Seabird Custom Pocket Seabird. Rocket. Pocket Rocket, yeah, that's Shane right. Shane Seabird design. You really brought us kind of both ends of the spectrum on yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> really, really high, really low. Awesome. So you're here. What's in your pocket today? Um, I've got a TR2 with Ooh. the uh, Shaw skull in it. And as you can see, this one's been used and carried for uh, a lot of years, but it still fires super hard. Awesome, that dude. That's project quality, yeah. yeah. Sweet. So, good stuff. Yeah, well, thanks, yeah. man. You guys got Unc it. Uncle Shaky. Uncle Shaky. You guys heard it here. <laughs> Take Doing it easy, my dude. best. All right, guys. Let's jump back to what's on the table. And we have got the winning knife from the paper cutting contest. I'm impressed. The Giant Mouse <laughs> Clyde. Now, this is from Landon Peterson. Landon Peterson wanted to see this knife. Uh, you got LMAX Steel. Uh, this one's got G10 handles. There is a beautiful micarta one that you can get as well. And then these really cool um, accents, colored accents that they have going. And then, of course, with that uh, wire clip that Giant Mouse has been using. Just a great knife. Everything you would expect 
from Giant Mouse. And the really cool thing is it's an LMAX blade for $154. Yeah, that's that's almost unheard of. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, Giant Mouse has been pushing the envelope on what steels you can get for what price. I mean, the Iona at M390, just under 100, um, and then now this LMAX at 154. So, yeah. cool knife, check it out. And it's, not only does it work great, but it looks great. Like, yeah. just the design. That's the other thing with I Giant Mouse, is every one of them is a winner. You're a winner! Yeah. Everyone. And what good is a knife if it doesn't look cool? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, speaking of look cool though, so Landon Peterson, I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a shout out here, buddy. So Landon <laughs> Peterson submitted, he wanted to see the Clyde. He had a couple really other great knife suggestions, but the Clyde was, was one of the ones on his list. Mm -hmm. Guys, we should all strive to be like Landon Peterson. I'm gonna show you this. Landon Peterson has over 101 knives on his wish list on Blade HQ. <laughs> And the cool thing about it is when you look through these, they're like all like not crazy knives. He's got like, yeah. he's got CRKTs, he's got Kershaws, he's got Gerbers. Like this is just a knife nut who's like, you know what? One day when I have the money or next paycheck, yeah. I know where I'm gonna go because I got my wish list. So if you guys aren't on Landon Peterson's game with the wish list, you gotta up your game. Yeah. Also, if you have more than 101 knives on your wish list, comment down below and tell me how many you have. I'm just so interested by this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, and now we have a, a, an honorable second second place in the contest. Honorable second place. <laughs> yeah, this is the Wee Nar. Gnar. Gnar. The old Nar. I actually love the name. Nar. Nar. It's like gnarly, but it's just Nar. It's not like Nar. It is Nar. <laughs> it is Nar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, S35 VN blade, and is that, I want to say G10? Dude, it's titanium. Is that? No way. It is 100% titanium. I, now. <laughs> I did a live thing on Instagram and some people were asking about this knife and I actually had to double check myself because it doesn't feel like titanium. Yeah, like that's my beef with titanium is it's slippery, but this is not slippery. Yeah, it's super grippy and this is just, again, it's it's a model of what we does with their materials, with their process, everything they do is just amazing. And this, and the NAR is no exception. And it's not ridiculous. 227 on the website? Yeah, 227. Like, yeah, that. which I know for, for some of you, that is a very, very expensive knife. But when you calculate in the, the finish you're getting, you calculate in the quality you're getting, it's it's a pretty fair price. Yeah, like, th for. this can run with the big dogs, like with that Seabird Tyson brought on. Yeah, right? <laughs> Anyways, so. it's it's a super cool one. Mm -hmm. um, and then who, who did that come from? That came from Michael Carroll. Michael Carroll. Thanks, buddy. Not Great. Steve Car Carroll or Michael Scott. Michael Carroll. Michael Carroll. <laughs> 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 it's a great one. Um, all right, so next up we have the Jake Hoback Knives. This is the, I actually don't know the name of this. This is the Buster. Um, this was a, a kind of a newer knife. I've seen these Hoback and Snex collaborations, so it's it's two knife makers collaborations. Um, I haven't played with one yet, so I obviously when I saw it, I wanted to grab it. Um, this has got an M390 blade, titanium construction. Uh, just kind of a cool, cool design knife all the way around. Um, all little details, all little bits of machining on it. Um, and this would probably be considered, I don't think it's a full custom, but it would be considered like a mid-tech mm -hmm. or like a, you know, more of a hand processed knife. Um, one thing that I really love about this knife is that we sat down with Ken Onion at Blade Show. Yeah, mm -hmm. at Blade Show. We sat down with Ken Onion at Blade Show. It was an awesome conversation. If you guys haven't watched that interview, go watch it. Um, just Ken is an amazing guy. But anyways, he said that Snex, uh, one of the designers of this knife, was his favorite, one of his favorite up and coming designers. That's that's a lot. That's saying a lot from Ken Onion. Ken Onion's one of the best designers that ever lived. Yeah, and, and he's all he's still pushing the envelope, and he oh. mentioned Snex as one of his favorite designers. So, anyways, kind of a cool knife. This is the uh, J. Kobach and Snex Buster. It goes for eight hundred bucks. Like I said, it's kind of in that mid tech range, so it's it's a wish list knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, and that comes from Jason Wells. So, Jason, thanks for uh, throwing that out for us, buddy. Uh, this is actually a really cool knife. I was excited to to get hands on it. Yeah. And then over here we've got the Benchmade Freak, and they call this one the Super Freak because this one has the G10 with the red accents that are so beautiful. It's such a cool knife, man. And then it's coated M4. Yeah. And M4 is legit. <laughs> we love us some M4 around here. Yeah. In fact, there's a few exclusives. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe coming future. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But... The M4 is, it's a carbon steel, so it'll rust on you if you're not careful, but it is so tough and it has such great edge retention and it's just amazing. Yeah. 
In fact, like this knife in this configuration is what changed Dutch bushcraft knives' opinion. They're like, okay, maybe folders are valid in the bushcraft world. Yeah. And they're totally right. This knife is amazing. And it's got that axis lock, which is just smooth. Always smooth. I love me a good axis lock. If you guys haven't seen the video that DBK did, uh, check it out. It, they always, there's always fun over there, right? Yeah. They're always having a good time. Um, but yeah, mm. great knife. And who did this come from? This came from Katie Whitman. Katie Whitman. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Katie, I checked out some of the knives that you had that you suggested for us to look at. She's got some good taste, man. Yeah. Like she right. had this, she had some uh, Yojimbo. Like she had some really good knives on there. Yeah. Yeah. Like rock on, Katie. I appreciate you. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys. That's all the knives that we have on the table. Um, so now it is time for the collection connection. All right, guys. Welcome to the collection connection. This is your corner of Knife Banner. If you want your collection featured, go to Instagram, use hashtag BHQ collection, post photos of your knife, post, post photos of your collections, your adventures, whatever, and uh, we go through them every week. We'll feature something here. So this week, we've got this really cool one. Um, this is from Al the Sa Science Pal. Great That's username. Say, yeah. Great <laughs> username right out the gate. And uh, he's got this sweet, uh, this sweet toolbox going on. I'm digging this, man. Yeah. He's got a bunch of multi-tools up top, Victorinox's multi-tools up top, and then a pretty healthy collection there in the drawer. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. And then it looks like, I don't know if he makes all these lanyards on these knives, but yeah. they all they all have a similar vibe. So maybe he's into making lanyards too. A lot of those knives have lanyards on them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah give this guy a follow. He's really cool. We were just scrolling through. He, apparently he's into cannons or something. Yeah I, yeah, I think he makes like mini replica cannons that actually fire. So that's a thing. You guys should definitely check this guy out, follow yeah, him. I could and get he, into that. He obviously has some cool <laughs> knives too. So yeah. sounds like a good dude. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, and now it is time to figure out what we are doing next time on Knife Banner. We have got Jamie, the, the wizard behind the curtain. A wizard? Is on camera. He's going to spin the wheel of decision. Hey, buddy. What's Welcome up, guys? To the jungle. This, is a, this is weird to have you on this side I know, of the camera. I'm usually right there, but they just cloned me and put another one in there. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's spin this thing. Whittle, whittle a stick. stick. <laughs> All right, guys. Not gonna work. You know we've done it. We've already whittled a stick. Me and Andrew, we had a competition who can make the best Pinewood Derby with a pocket knife. It didn't end well, but it happened. So here's what we're gonna do. This is gone now. Boop. I want you guys down in the comments to tell us what we need to replace it with. What do you want us to do with a knife? I don't care what it is. As crazy as you want it to be, put it down in the comments. The one I see the most, that's what we're gonna replace it with. So, all right, let's spin this thing again. Okay, round two. There we go. Hey, hey that's hey. new. Okay, rope cutting. <laughs> All right, I don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but we're gonna figure out some crazy way to cut rope with the knives on next knife banner. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, Jamie, what's in your pocket? Oh, you know, this will come as a great shock to you, but I'm carrying the OD Green Benchmade Bug Out currently, so. Have you eaten anything with it lately? I, I have not eaten anything with it, but it has acquired pieces of Zach's level. That's right, right. <laughs> my four foot carpenter's level. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's a good it one. Seemed to work. Now it's no surprise uh, because Jamie has had this knife in his pocket two years now. So Between the blue and the green one. Yeah, close to that. Yeah, so right around two years. It's that or Leatherman free usually. So, thanks for coming on, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Take it easy. See you later. Awesome. <laughs> And thank you guys for watching. It's always a blast. We appreciate the support. Um, consider hitting the subscribe button. Consider hitting the no notification bell. Give George a little bit of love. Tell him, uh, tell him he did a good job. I think he did a good job. Oh, thanks. How'd man. you feel, buddy? Not too I feel, bad. I feel all right. Perfect. I, mean, I only made a small fool of myself, but that's that's what nice that's what it's all about. about. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Are we out.